Hello everyone, welcome back to FFG Live. My name is Evan Johnson, and I'm joined here today by none other than Frank Brooks. How are you doing today, Frank? Pretty good. All right, that's good, that's good. It's good to be good. <laughs> uh, so today we have here on the table, Cosmic Encounter Duel, which is out now in the United States and in the UK and most countries around the world, I believe. Um, and we're gonna play some gameplay with it. We're gonna show off kind of what, uh, what you might be able to expect. It's hard to, uh, maybe you can talk to this more, yeah. Frank. It's hard to like portray a typical game of Cosmic yeah. Encounter Duel. A typical game of Cosmic Encounter Duel is going to be wacky, uh, un unpredictable, um, <laughs> which is, yes, it'll be hard to demonstrate a normal game of this. Yes. Um. <laughs> so how did you kind of like, so this, this Cosmic Encounter Duel this yeah. is obviously the two-player version of this like massively popular and long-running board game that, yeah. is, that is inherently very multiplayer, right? Yes. It's a three-player minimum, yes. I believe. Yes. Uh, so how did you kind of distill that down to to what we're gonna play today. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, because like you're saying, uh, it's all about the interaction with the your opponents and negotiating and diplomacy mm -hmm. and trying to like trick people into, oh yeah, this is in your best interest, trust me, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, in this environment, it's hard because with two people, right. I can't, you can't I can't me. do that. <laughs> You're trying to beat me, right? So, so I needed to add in another factor, mm -hmm. X factor, to to allow for that. So, mm -hmm. um, we have these envoys as a mechanic, which are actually aliens from the classic uh, mm -hmm. game of Cosmic Encounter. So there'll be some familiar faces with new artwork mm. um, that can pop back in. Um, so they add that sort of like other person sort of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And then we came, I came up with this clever uh, time sort of system mm -hmm. with the, the way destiny works. And it'll just throw lots of different things at us mm -hmm. to uh, make us interact with the components we have in new ways, mm -hmm. uh, making cards have different value, um, our, our ships become a different sort of resource than they used to be in the original mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. So I did some stuff to really um, take what feels Cosmic Encounter, playing cards, yep. uh, ships, crazy alien abilities, and turn it into a, uh, a wacky com you know, experience for two players. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I am expecting some wackiness. Uh, real quick, before we kind of complete our setup, uh, rundown for us and for our viewers. How do you win? How do you lose? Sure. So, uh, in the game, uh, we are going to be discovering many planets, which is this stack here. Yes, Brrrp. many planets. Many planets. Uh, the first person to control five planets wins. So to control a planet, you nearly merely need to have ships on it. So we mm -hmm. can, in a sense, both control the same planet if mm -hmm. we somehow both end up with ships on it, mm -hmm. uh, which is, again, something that could happen. Yeah. Um, that's your st standard way of winning. And uh, your standard way of losing is if you have no ships in your supply mm. and you need to send ships for whatever reason and you can't, mm. you lose the game. So there's yes. kind of both a win condition and a lose condition. We'll see where we go. Interesting. Yeah. Can you, can you uh, so, so this is, uh, I'm going off script here. Sure. But <laughs> is this, uh, can you play to the lose condition? Like, is that an actual oh. thing where it's like, I'm going to try to get rid of all your ships and that's how I'll win this game? Oh, like on purpose, yes. 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 Okay. Especially with the way you try to resolve events, you can mm -hmm. do your best to like bait out your opponent. Oh. Um, there's a lot of like destruction that can happen with the, mm -hmm. with the tactics. So yeah, definitely you can, you can, push that advantage. Mm -hmm. And even if you get close and, and that's not your win, con like you don't get to the win condition, right. you're certainly hampering your opponent and mm -hmm. then you might be the win regular. So oh, sure, sure. yes, both are important to keep in mind. All right, well, let's uh, pick some aliens. All right. So we've got this, this huge stack of aliens. So all of these are brand new to this game, right? Yeah. They have not appeared in previous Cosmic Encounter games or expansions or anything. Yeah, some of these were ideas that had been kind of floated around um, for, for, the, uh, for the original game. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are kind of uh, derived from that. So there actually are like combinations of um, like this one, the Uber Reserve is a play on the Reserve, which right. was one from the classic uh, original game. Of course. So there's a couple of those that have happened here. Um, there's a lot of these. It's like yeah. Twenty some. Uh, I, th I, I can't remember. I know. I I used to know. It looks like a here. quick estimate is get telling me twenty eight. Oh, twenty seven. <laughs> oh, that was really wow. close. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, lots of different aliens to choose from. Um, as, as throughout the rest of the game, there's lots of, mm -hmm. you know, silly little references to things you might of be course. able to uh, pick up on if you're 
familiar with your sci-fi lore or yeah. <laughs> what have you. <laughs> um, <laughs> familiar with the science fictions. Yes, exactly. They also have, and this is one of like the coolest things that I like that Cosmic Encounter does, is they got the little um, colors to indicate the difficulty level. Yeah. Right? So like green, this is easy to play. Yellow, yep. medium to play. Red is more yeah. complex. Yeah, so it's, yes. So it gets to uh, that, that degree where red isn't necessarily it's hard in a different way. So it could be either like the ability is kind of complicated mm -hmm. or conversely, it's just hard to win with. And, sure. and that was another thing I thought was really important for this two-player game is if you're going to play it a bunch, mm -hmm. sometimes you might just be better than your, your friend you're teaching the game to. Yeah. So you can kind of give yourself a disadvantage by, by playing one of the harder to win mm. Um, mm -hmm. species. So... Yeah. Do you have a Do you have an alien in mind that you, that you um, want to play as today? I think it'd be really fun to play the friend, this little oh, uh, the space friend, dolphin. Oh, the space dolphin guy. Because um, it will g give us our opportunity to see the most envoys um, mm. uh, to plan for. Not right. that you can really plan for much in this game. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick the friend as well. Yeah, I, mean, I, I get the impression that this game is is high on tactics and uh, more than strategy, right? Yes. Or it pro promotes tactics. Over right, because, yeah, you can have some major game plan you're shooting for, but... Uh, whether you can get there or not is is uh, is hard to to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's see. Who should I play? Oh, as? Man, there's some weird ones. I, there's, I, some, there's some good ones. Here. Yeah, I, I was reading some of these that I hadn't seen in a while, mm -hmm. and I was uh, sort of amused at my own humor, <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is always sort of funny when when you've been f enough removed from it that you like, oh yeah, I did do that, didn't I? Right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the sunflower boy. Oh right here, yes, the ubiquitous. Let me let me throw this. In the, in the like viewer, so, so people can see it. Uh, so, as it says, envelop, you need to control two more planets than normal to win the game. So I need mm. seven planets. Mm -hmm. This will be difficult. Yep. Uh, contest and duel. Rooted, my ships do not retreat. Uh, and germinate, I can send a maximum of three ships. So basically, if I lose the duel, yeah. my ships aren't going anywhere. Yeah. I still control that planet. Yep. So if you want to keep me off a planet, you got to destroy them. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, the fun part here is, of course, it's playing up dandelions, right? That's the little theme there with the, with the yellow mane and, and mm -hmm. whatnot. So yeah, much like dandelions, they are hard to remove once they're in place. Oh, I know all about that. <laughs> I've been fighting dandelions in my yard lately. Uh, and then let's, uh, let's yeah, throw put your the friend up here. there. So there is the friend. <laughs> so uh, it says befriend. You can have one additional allied envoy. So you can have two of these envoys. Right yes. With you, right? Yeah. Normally, normally there's only three in the game, mm -hmm. um, and you can only have one allied envoy at a time. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna have two. And then you also have uh, defriend. After you decrease friendship with one of your allied envoys, kind of pushing them away, mm -hmm. uh, you may remove it from the game and place another random unused envoy face down of the same type. That's a neutral envoy. Yeah. So you can just kick envoys out of the game. Yeah. Like we want to see more. Exactly. All right. So the envoys, they start the game face down like yes. this. So they are not going to be uh, revealed until one of us becomes friends with them yep. or becomes allies. Yes. So you can, you can look at it and you can know what it is. And then at a later time, you can reveal it. For dramatic effect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Aha. <Ta -da! laughs> yes. All right. Uh, so then I believe the next part of the game is we determine who is the leader and who is the straggler. Yes. Uh, so we. we this fun little uh, yeah, straggler token. I love there. that, that it like <laughs> hangs there and rocks. Yep. Hang in there, buddy. Throw it up on the holder. Oh, sure. So here it is. So yes, that is that is a play on the uh, hang in there, baby yep. meme for those. He's hanging in there. Playing at home. <laughs> there it is. All right, so we each just reveal the top card of our plan deck, I yep. believe. And then the person with the higher score is clearly in the lead, and the other person is straggling. Obviously. Obviously. 31. Oh, just That's right. Then. In the lead. So I will maintain the straggler position. And does, it, does this go back on top? That goes into your hand. <laughs> which does mean I know you yeah. get one. So you draw up to six now. Drawing up to six. Well, I can say that uh, your doom is assured. Oh, certainly. <laughs> you got a 31. What, what can I do to that? Exactly. Uh, all right. And all right. I believe that concludes the setup. Yeah. So so how do we how do we start here? Sure. So uh, we, we have, have these three decks. Three Destiny decks here. Explain these to me. Yes. So we have uh, Discovery. Mm -hmm. This one, as the little uh, icon indicates here, has to do with these planets. So this will spawn new planets for us to contest mm. and uh, or duel over. All right. Hence, Cosmic Hunter Duel. Um, <laughs> so this is, uh, we'll be advancing that part of it. Mm -hmm. um, the the person who does not win will get the, uh, you know, booby prize, the runners up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you'll get something else instead of a planet. Yep. Um, then we have the events, and the events are all sorts of things. And this is, I think, part of the, the wackiest part of the game, because mm. 
it could be anything from a miniature game of uh, Go Fish. It could be, um, we could recontest one of the planets we already had. It could be all sorts of different things. Sure. And then the last one is Refresh, uh, where we get some sort of resources back, as you can see, the, the mm -hmm. plans, tactics, et cetera, on there. Um, and one of the most interesting things yeah. to me, or uh, not most interesting, but an interesting thing yeah. to me, this is a game filled with interesting things. Yes. You do not proceed through these decks sequentially, right? right? It tells you which one to go to yes. next. Yes. It's typically the order I, I presented them out, but yeah, you could jump. It could go mm -hmm. from a, uh, a discovery to another discovery, or mm -hmm. right to refresh, or you know that kind of thing. So yeah, you don't really know that you're going to get through the full cycle of yeah, the time. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've seen a question here in sure. the chat real quick that a couple people are asking about. Yeah. Are the three different Envoy decks different mechanically? Is there any distinction? Why don't they all have the same number of cards? Ah, that's a good question. So um, during design, I had originally put them all in uh, one deck. Mm. And I found that uh, it, I liked having the... Um, the specific sort of themed mechanics across them uh, separated out. So mm. uh, I, 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 haven't, I haven't thought of this in a while, so I can't think of explicitly what they are, but I know that sure. there is one set that has more of the like mathy things. Mm. So you're less likely to run into some of the more complicated, like, okay, how do we do this when, sure. when this and this and this are in play? Square so, root this. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it is it, doing its best to try to separate out the, the themes of what the three different Envoy types are doing, mm. so that you don't have too much overlap playing with the same mechanic too much. Um, that said, there are plenty of ways you can introduce duplicates. So it's not like mm -hmm. that's actually completely mitigated, but right. it's to try to reduce the, the sort of mental load at first. So sure. That is a good question, though. Um, yeah. So I, I kind of tried to mentally separate out into sure. mechanics. Kind of balancing mental load, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was the goal there. Interesting. All yeah. right. Uh, Let's start. Let's do it. You wanna, you wanna. Reach, Sorry, I'm gonna discover? make you stand up to sure. reach the card. All right. Can I just place it here, or? Uh, do you wanna put yeah. It let's, there? let's throw it up here. All right. What do we got here? <sighs> Everything and nothing. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. Ship advantage plus zero, and then the loser gets a prize. Uh, so. We can see our new planet has just appeared right here. Yeah, and uh, the... ship advantage. We'll explain what that means in a in a moment as we as we kind of get into this. Yeah. So this little uh, icon here doesn't really matter for us. It's going to mm -hmm. come up later, so you don't have to worry about that part. But yeah, it's important to keep in track with the losing. Yes. The, what the loser gets. Yes. Because sometimes it's better to lose the battle to win the war, right? That right. Kind of thing. Right. So in this case, uh, the person that loses gets the Oblivion Prize which is to either draw cards up to their hand limit or discard your hand, at which point mm. you would then draw back up. That seems like a terrible prize. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what your hand is. <laughs> so I've already stated my hand is uh, quite good. Quite good. So. Uh, so in this case, if I actually lose on purpose, no, you can just draw up to your hand limit. It doesn't yeah. force you to discard. Correct. That's Correct. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. otherwise it could, right? You could, yeah. you could. All right, All so. Right. Uh, st steps of the duel. The first sure. thing that we do is uh, ship dials, right? Yes. So you, so you cute. yeah, they are. <laughs> so you have to choose between uh, one and four mm -hmm. ships that you're going to send. One and three for myself. Since yes, I am ubiquitous. That is true. Um, so it is important. Uh, they're grayed out um, for the zero and the five and six on there because mm -hmm. and, and seven because there are ways in which those other numbers are used. Mm -hmm. But for a duel, most people can only go one to three. Right. Right. So. All right. Tricky, tricky. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and then do we we don't reveal yet, or do we? We do reveal, right? I where's that? Sorry. <laughs> um, we set the dice. Yeah, you reveal Maria. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. You're right. Three. Also three. Ooh. Da, 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 da. I think three is going to be a pretty common number in this game. We'll mm -hmm. see. Right. Then. So now we pick our plan and our tactic, I believe. Yes, yes. So we're going to choose those simultaneously. So this is kind of our, our, our battle strategy going into this. It consists of both one of these tokens. I'll put one up here. Sure. Uh, like so. If I can get it to, there we go. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, they are double-sided. They have a shield side and then a blast side. So I would put it with one of these sides. Um, facing the correct way. Right, so this one would be two blast. Right. Uh, you can read it. So yeah. basically what this does is it either destroys your opponent's ships or shields your own ships from destruction. Yes, so this would block two blasts, mm -hmm. essentially. So mm -hmm. if I did three or more, it would do some damage in that respect. Right, right. All right, uh, and then the plan cards, 
that as as we mentioned. So mm -hmm. here's that the 31 that you know that I have. <laughs> uh, so these are these add to our clout. Yes. Um, when determining who is going to win this duel and uh, emerge victorious and mm -hmm. in control of this planet. Yes. Except of course it will be me because I'm going to control all the planets. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Well, well, well. I have my attack deck. Tricky, tricky. Okay. I'm ready. Feeling pretty, pretty good. Feeling pretty good about that. Mm -hmm. And. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man. I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Just all right. Uh, and now we reveal our tactics. I we believe. do reveal our tactics. All right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know. Yeah. <laughs> On the offensive, three blasts. I did a two block. Oh. <laughs> all so right. I was like, I'll still be around. So I destroy uh, one of your ships, right? Uh, let's see. Three. Oh yeah. Duh. That's how three minus. That is the math. Two minus three. Or whatever. Three minus two works. All right. right. Yes, three minus two. So these tactics, once we've used them, we don't get them back Correct. until we uh, have Refresh. something that recovers them. Yeah, yes. in some in some capacity. Yep. Okay. And now we go to plans, right? Yes. So At this I have, point, I have ship advantage. Yes, of zero. Of zero. But normally you would. Yep. That was a big. I number. still have the ship advantage. Yeah. It's just zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus zero. All right. Okay. Morphin. Uh, minus two. Oh. That's bizarre. So, okay, uh, the Morphin yep. is, uh, while your opponent has revealed plan, the Morphin has the value of that plan. So we are both a negative two. Yes. <laughs> so we tie, which I'm fairly confident that's part of the advantage of being the straggler. Uh, isn't that right? Oh. I know how this game works. Are you going to win? I think are I do. Win this duel? It's okay. I, my, my guys are going to stay there regardless, and I'm okay with it. Yes. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. I do need to uh, do need to win some more duels in the future because I yes. have to get to seven before you get to five. Yes. So we'll uh, dun, dun, we'll dun, have to dun, work dun. on that. Oh man, I was, I'm fairly confident that's the advantage of having the straggler. Sure. Yeah. Because let's, I'm... Uh, let's just play like that. Yes. And uh, you know they'll they'll tell us, they'll tell us in the chat if it's wrong. They say it is. Yes, during because if the player total clout straggler wins. Yes. Ta da! I knew, just wanted to not be wrong. That's what that was okay. about. Success. Phew! Okay. All so, right. Straggler. You win. I win. Nice job. Thank you. I get the loser prize. You do. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw up to my hand size. Okay. All right. Ugh. So you you're still on the planet. I'm still here. You can't get rid of us. Dandelion boys. Dandelion boys. <laughs> All right, so we move on to the event. Deck. Yes. Warp Speed Racer. Oh, yeah, I suppose right. We yeah. got it up there. All right, what do we got here? Each player secretly selects a number between 0 and 4 using their ship dial. You reveal your ship dial and send that many ships to the warp. The player sent more increases or decreases their friendship with an envoy. If it's a tie, each player who sent at least one ship resolves this card again. All right. Yes. Let's see here. Oh, right. So if there's a tie and each player sent at least one, we yes. resolve it again. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Yes. Two? One. Ha ha! All right. The envoy is yours. Woo! So I get to choose one of these randomly. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll go with the square guys. Choose it randomly. Yes. <laughs> Classic. I remember you. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we're going on to a refresh card. Yes. An envoy. I'm sure we will see they will make their appearance shortly. Oh, surely. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Brain squalling session. Each player readies a tactic of their choice. Oh, well, that was an easy well, choice. Easy enough. All right. And <laughs> on to another refresh card. Oh. Very mild. Mild effect there. Hosting the Cause Olympics. Have a contest. The winner resolves one of the following options. The loser resolves one of the remaining options. And then the winner resolves the last option. So the options are increase your friendship with an envoy, ready one tactic of your choice, recover up to six ships. Okay. All right. 
So, so we're having a contest. We sure are. Which is very much like a duel. Yes. Uh, but without uh, ships. Correct? Yes. It's pretty much the whole difference. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to involve tactics, of course, because yep. there's no ships to blow up, any of that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're basically just picking a plan. Yes. Is that, is that correct? But I do have an envoy. Oh, are they going to make an appearance? They sure will. Uh oh. It's the fodder. The fodder. So, during contests and duels, such as right now. Not such as right now. We have Overwhelm. After plans are revealed, you may play a plan as a reinforcement. Plan must be higher than your revealed plan and lower than your opponent's revealed plan. So, you're, so you can uh, you can boost your way out of this. Yeah. So if I if I play a low enough card and you play a card that's better than mine, I can play a card that's better than mine. Blah, 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 all that. Yes. 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 I understand. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thirty-one. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky number seven. Uh, to no win. I've been informed my 31 is nearly unbeatable. That is very true. Um, in this case, I'm going to not have to worry about uh, using my fodder ability, because th that would be a very big card yes. to play. All right. I win. Yes. Aha. I'm going to first, uh, I will first recover six ships. That is so many. That is all of my ships that are in there. Well, I don't want to ready a tactic. I already have that. So I can uh, fortunately get my second envoy because I'm, I'm the friend. I've got so many friends here. So many friends. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the friends. So normally at this point, I would have to send one of these back to neutral. Right. But because I'm... Because you're a friend. I'm, I can befriend. Everyone likes you who would yeah. not like a space dolphin. Who wouldn't like a space, <laughs> space dolphin as a friend? I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah. Cool. Wonderful. Like it. Nice. All right. Well then, uh, now we go to. Oh, and I would ready a tactic, but they are already. They're already. We're going to another refresh card. Wow, we've got a bunch in a row. All right, atypical. Ships or resources, starting mm. with the leader. Woo! Each player <laughs> either recovers two ships or acquires one of the following resources from any planet they control. What? what so we got the little is orange it? guy. The orange the guy. Second one. Increase your friendship with an oh. envoy. <laughs> I don't mind you if could, I do. You could also increase friendship with one of these, pulling it into neutral. I could. I would prefer to have an envoy. That of makes my own. sense. Rather than trying to fight the, yes. the tide of friendship. But, but now it's your turn. To it go. is. Uh, I can either recover two ships or pull that into neutral, I suppose. Yes. I, I think I do want some ships back. I'll take two. Mm. So, yes. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we'll move All on right. to the next one. Yes, which is Discovery. Yes. I guess we could just make that the discard pile. I don't know. Uh, it, don't it's know. fine. Okay, yes, here you go. All right. <laughs> it's full of stars. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. Players send their ships from the warp, in, from the warp instead of from their Ooh. supply. Hmm. If a player has no <laughs> ships in the warp, they may only send one ship from their supply. Oh. Ship advantage one. Loser Star Child Prize. Recover three ships or destroy three of your opponent's ships from their Ooh. supply. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Well. Seems pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I can do. Uh huh. Interesting. I guess. Sure, sure. Yeah. 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 I'll, just, I'll just send three again. All right. From the warp Ooh. to this little ice cube planet. This poor little ice cube boy. All right. It's full hmm. of stars. OK. Back to tactics and plans. Hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. Need a tactic. Need a plan. So we would be, now is when we would reveal our face down envoy if you want to add it. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal mine. Okay. I'm gonna have the healer. Oh. So after one or more ships are destroyed during a duel, mm. each player recovers half of their ships destroyed during that duel rounding up. Okay. If your opponent recovers at least one ship, I can draw a card. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm I will reveal card. mine as well. I have the deuce. Mm. Uh, before plans are revealed, I may conspire. If I did conspire, I can double my plan if it's lower than yours, or have my plan if it's higher than yours. Ooh. Oh, this is getting real tricky with the fodder and the duel <laughs> and deuce and all that. Okay. <laughs> Woo! 
We've got some real Cosmic Encounter duo going uh, now. We sure do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. We'll see if this pan how this pans out. That's right. Uh, yeah, feeling good. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Tactics time. <laughs> Three blasts. Ah, three blasts. Bam. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. <laughs> Fortunately, they <laughs> just go back to the work. So uh, when this happens, mm -hmm. we basically are just going to do it again. Do this duel again. Yep. Same criteria. Fortunately, you can send this guy. I can. Right back. This get discarded. Yep. I lost my uh, palindromic 11. Uh, how palindromic. Yes. All right. Which one? Oh, Sinister 13. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh boy. Well, I guess, you know, nothing really happened there, other than I lost mm. this card, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> Hard choices here. <laughs> All right. All right. And. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yep. Feeling good. Yep. Hwa! Two shield. Two blasts. Ha ha ha! Dang it. Block. Blocked again. All right. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh. I've not looked. Yes. I'm going to conspire. Okay. Yep. So are you going to... Oh, yes, you can choose later, right? Uh, it does not help. Ah. So my flame is doubled because it is lower than yours. Yes. But I'm still... 10 is less than 12. Yep. And you have the, the ship advantage I do as well. a plus one. The plus one. So 13 to 10. I did it! Unfortunately, you always stay on the planet. <laughs> That's right, I do. <laughs> and you get the reward. Either recover three ships or destroy three of your opponent's ships from their supply. It's going to be that one, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> you think it's okay. A <laughs> uh, question in the chat here. Yeah. How long was the playtesting process for this game? Uh, seems like you could easily just say, well, that's Cosmic Encounter if things seem a little crazy or broken. <laughs> uh, how do you know when things are too broken? That's a that's a great question. Because um, you're right. Uh, you could just be like, eh, we're done right, mm -hmm. right away. But mm -hmm. uh, I mean, obviously, a lot of it goes down to getting the language to be consistent um, as well, because you don't want to be like, drawing cards and you know uh, picking them off the top of the deck or like that kind of stuff where double use of, of verbiage and, and whatnot right um, and you don't want to create those experiences where they're just there just aren't decisions to make because that can be a problem with an ability where it's just like well the obvious strategy is always this mm. and then that's not a very particularly fun ability right right so having that kind of like when do you choose to use it is a really important um, deciding factor in how you actually, uh, know whether the ability works or not. So as with any sort of, you know, creative process where you're developing and iterating and iterating, you could just be there all, you know, yeah. forever, right? right? You could develop it for 10 years. Yeah. Um, so there is a certain point where you have to just sort of, you know, it's done, right? right. Um, but yeah, there is going to be a natural sense of uh, unbalance and asymmetry that is going to occur in this, uh, mm -hmm. making some allies, be envoys better than others, some, some aliens better than others. But again, it, you have to, leverage your advantage and disadvantage states in order to try to, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, to win. Right, and, and because the game is so heavy on tactics, it seems like that stuff can, can even out in that way. Yeah, and because of the, the whimsy of the deck, right. even if you have some combo that seems unbreakable. Right, can, can easily get broken. <laughs> <laughs> it can really disintegrate upon you, so, yeah. All right, well, we're doing Good question, an, an event now. Yes, we are. We've got step right up. Ooh. Each player, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna hold it here. <laughs> uh, each player places a card from their hand face down. Then, starting with the leader, each player guesses a number, and both players reveal their face down card. Then you return the revealed card to your hand. Player whose guess is closer to the value of their opponent's ship chooses: draw three cards, recover four ships, or destroy two of their opponent's ships. Straggler wins a tie. Hmm. Okay. So is this one? Is this one just reveal? Correct. It goes back in your hand. Goes in back in your hand. Interesting. Because the tricky part here is you could play a, a wacky card in that it's really mm -hmm. far away from the average, mm -hmm. but then you probably know mm -hmm. that you play. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay, uh, starting with the leader. I think so. leader usually goes first. Yes. Okay. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Twenty. 
Oh! I'm closer. You are! Just by one. We win! If I just got to 10, we yeah. were tied. <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, you are the straggler. Am I? Yes. Or no, we're, we're tied. We have the same number of points. Just kidding. Yeah. We're fine. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to, what are my options again? Draw three, recover four. That's not going to happen. Or destroy two. That's so tempting. Thanks. Destroy two. Do it. <laughs> Ooh, gotta recover. All right. Refresh time. I like how you ask, like, is like destroying your opponent's ships like a viable strategy? Uh huh. The condiments must flow. <laughs> Starting with the leader. Each player acquires resources for each planet type that their opponent controls. Okay, so both of us will get both of these things. Yes. All right. So gain two reinforcements from the first one and. Uh -huh. Increase your friendship with an envoy for the next one. Okay. So you will be going first. Okay. So, so I get all mine. Yes. First. All right. So two reinforcements. Thank you. And then you can increase your friendship with uh, one of these, which would pull it to the middle. Yes. Um, let's pull the fodder to the middle. Okay. I guess that's this one technically. All right. And then I'll draw two. And... I think I'll just take him back. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, I could have pulled the, the deuce out as well. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, now we are going on to discovery. I, I do like how some people would be like, but like spice isn't a condiment. And I'm like, well, you got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this one is por que no los dos. Ah, yes. Discover new plant, have a duel there. The loser does not retreat sheeps. Retreat sheeps. Oh. Retreat ships from this planet. Ship advantage plus two, uh, the loser prize. Destroy one of the winner's ships on the planet. If that destroys the last ship on this planet, resolve this card again. Ah. Yes. Why not both? Why not both? Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Hmm. So, uh, basically, I got your ability. You do have my ability. Sweet. My ability is is uh, not not doing so much for me Not, at this not moment. right now. Hmm. Okay. You know, I just realized that in Spanish title case, you wouldn't actually capitalize all the letters. Of the, so that only should be the P and poor should be the only capital. Right. But that's right. fine. You messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that just dawned on me now, but it is true. Okay. Um, anyway. Right. Oh, I'm getting low on chips. I still need three more plants. <laughs> no, likey. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Two. Three. Okay. Three ships. Oh boy. Alright. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. User does not okay. retreat ships. Let's see, your two and your three are down. Fortunately, I've got this healer. So I can heal. Mm -hmm. What does that do again? If they're destroyed, uh, they go back to your supply. After one or more ships are destroyed during the duel, each re player recovers half of their ships destroyed during the duel. So that's right. Even if even if you somehow wipe me out, mm -hmm. I'll still be able to recover one. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Tricky, tricky. Challenging. Brain burning choices. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> um. You right? Yeah. Let's do it. Four blast. Four blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. foreseen. <laughs> What's foreseen? Uh, and now we each recover half of that, right? Uh, of the ones we destroyed. Right. Yes. Rounding so, up or down? Rounding up. Okay. So, too, too bad. bad. Mm. <laughs> well, discard that 13. Ooh, ooh a morph. Discard my zero. Um, okay. Oh, so we both have our one and our recover left. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Two. Oh, there's ship advantage of plus two now. Mm hmm. Doesn't matter. Interesting. Yeah. So 
I know you have two reinforcements. If you've yet to play. Mm -hmm. So do you. True. So do you. <laughs> um, boy. Boy. All right. Let's go for it. OK. Mm -hmm. Recover one. Recover two. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So I can recover two. Happy to help, yes. So I'll get this guy back and this guy back. Shuffle these up a little bit. Not that you were necessarily paying attention. Right, right, of course. OK. Ooh. All right. so, curiously, we ended up with both recovering, too. Yeah. It, no, anyway. Interesting. Interesting. I'm sure there's like a, a some like prisoner's prisoner's game dilemma, of yeah, prisoner's right. dilemma line of logic you can get out of that. Probably six twenty. Okay. So currently you're at twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty six. 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 Yes. Um, you're not gonna retreat. You don't have to win this. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for removing that tension. Um, yeah. Great. Cool. Perfect. Early birthday presents were enough. All right. <laughs> All right, and then um, as the winner, you can uh, destroy one of the, or sorry, as the loser, yes, just me, I destroy one of the ships on there. Bloop. Okay. All right, now we are on to an event. I suppose technically, after one or more ships are destroyed, each player that, so yeah, oh, you, you actually do recover card. that one, and I get to draw a card, because if your opponent recovers yes. at least one ship, I can draw a card. There you go. Could have done the last time too, but. All right, do electric sheep dream of androids? The Stragler chooses a random card from their opponent's hand without looking at it. Then the Stragler asks that they should choose a different card instead. <laughs> After hearing the answer, the Stragler may choose a different card instead. Then the Stragler takes the card they have chosen. Finally, resolve this card a second time with the rolls swapped. Yes. Uh, yeah. This is one of my, like, honestly, one of my favorite cards because it, it creates this mind game that has, it doesn't need to go anywhere, but it will. I'm going to choose this card should i choose a different card <laughs> no <laughs> no i shouldn't choose a different card okay i think i will choose this card instead <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right you should shuffle one more time i think i know which card was mine all right <laughs> okay. uh should I pick a different card? No, yeah, you know, take okay. it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I wasn't playing the Thank you for telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So for those, uh, for you all paying attention at home, he did take the 20. Oh, yeah. I, I guess I did not show that yeah. I got the 20 yeah. off of him. I took his uh, plus now. nine all right. reinforcement. Time for a refresh. So yeah, this actually created a weird situation where you actually have a card from my deck that's in your deck yes, now. it's mine now. Uh, ships or resources. Starting with the leader, each player chooses either recovers two ships or one of the following resources from any planet they control. All right, so my options are green, orange, and blue. That's most okay. things. Draw three cards, increase your friendship with an envoy, gain two reinforcements. I'm going to draw three cards. Boy, I would love more ships back. <laughs> Which I can do because the base in fact is two. Uh, I do like reinforcements though. That's a great one. But any chips. I can't lose the game that way. Yes. That would be awful. All right, discovery. Discovery. Prophecy foretold. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. Ship advantage plus three. Loser. Faded prize. Look at the top three cards of any Destiny deck. Put Ooh. two of those cards on the bottom and resolve the remaining card. Okay. Prophecy foretold! All right. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Let me ship dial it up. Okay. Okay. Back to this situation. Fortunately, the ship advantages have been pretty low so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it hasn't been too... But then when you send fewer ships, it's easier to blow them up. It's true. It's bad. It's tension. It's true. It's All true. Right. I'm going to go for it. Yep. Three. Three. Ba -ba -ba. This healer is going to help me out, I think. Yeah. And yeah, it's definitely, definitely putting a cramp in my, uh, my chosen plan. Yes. 
Okay, back to the plans. Turning okay. high. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Do you wanna one of these? I'm ready. Me too. Three block. Three block. Plan safe. Yep. Yeah. Crazy eight. Forty-two. Oh. <laughs> the answer. Yes, that is the answer. Um, all right. <laughs> Not much I can do there. Be gone from my planet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, at least they didn't die. So there's that, that. That is true. That is true. They lived. Uh, so you get the loser prize. Ah, yes. So we top three of any deck. Ooh. Two on the bottom, and we do the next one. Okay. Um. I see someone asking chat, how do you get this in the UK? Uh, I believe it is out in the UK, so it should you should be able to just go to your local retailer and, and pick it up. Uh, Asmodee UK is the distributor there, so they may be able to answer your questions if you're having trouble finding it at, uh, at a retailer. So I chose Refresh because yes. I would have a specific goal in mind of what I would like yeah. to is recover. It, is it ships? It might be ships. Might be ships. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, I like that one. Let's do this one. Good stuff. All right, yeah. so you're actually on the bottom. Yep. Just pick Dipstick. Starting with the leader, each player chooses a planet they control, and each player acquires the resources from both planets. All right, so our options are... Uh, that is the same as that one. So we still have creature friendship with an envoy. Opponent readies one of your tactics. Recover up to three ships. Which one would you like to um, pick? Let's see. Starting with the leader, which is oh, that's now you. Yes. Well, it's been you, but it's still you. It's still me. <laughs> For real this time. Uh, it will be opponent readies one of your tactics. Okay. Will be my choice. That's a good one. I'm going to do the recover three ships. Yeah, naturally. I like that one because it didn't, wasn't going to help you that much. Yep. <laughs> uh, you um, can take your two back. Cool. I assume I can I, take my yes. feedback. <laughs> <laughs> seemed, seemed like an easy choice. All right. You know, I'm feeling generous today. No, uh, <laughs> discovery time. Sympathetic inhabitants. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. Ship advantage plus four. Loser increases their friendship with one envoy twice. Ah, yes. So this way you can actually... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can yoink. Yoink all the way. How did you get all those ships back? I know, right? Unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a good series of events. Okay, this one actually has a, a semi-notable ship advantage. Four. That could be enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I only need two more planets. Four. Three. <laughs> To the cheese planet. I believe that's that one. Cheese planet? Uh, Is it made of cheese? Uh, yeah. The cheese. mountains are covered in some grated Parmesan, Ooh. oceans of nacho. <laughs> I have nacho cheese at home. Super excited about that. <laughs> uh, okay, so you currently have ship advantage. I do. Plus four. Plus four. All right. A modest plus four. A modest plus four. Okay. Now uh, back to this whole dealy O. That and ba, 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 ba. do that. Okay. Ready? Yes. Tactics. Two Four blast. blast. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Ship advantage is mine. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. All right. <laughs> um, I am going to conspire. All right. Okay. Eight. Ten. So now I'm at five. Mm -hmm. But plus four, so nine. Nine. I'm at nine. Well, I guess I will boost it with a coordinated ambush of plus nine. So I'm at 17. Mm. I suppose that will have to stand. Oh. Unfortunately. All right. Loser prize. I get to increase my friendship with an envoy twice. Uh, let me, let me read this guy again. Let's see that. Yes. It lets you play additional cards as though they're reinforcements. Yes. 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 I'm going to take this guy away from you. Okay. He's mine now. He's my friend. <laughs> All right. 
So before we proceed to the next one, I had no cards in hand, so I would draw up to my six. Of course. Hmm. Okay. So yeah. Event. The time. reinforcements do go into your respective discard piles. So yes. when you cycle through your deck, you will be able to draw them again. And interestingly, we haven't seen this yet, a negative reinforcement goes into that player's. Yes. So the negative reinforcements kind of go back and forth. Yeah, so they're this kind of fun little, like, you yeah. kind of give them a card that's good for them, Yeah. But later, so. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Back to the past. Have a contest. The winner chooses a card from the past. Resolve Ooh. that card next. So the past is the, the discard, the discard pile. pile. Yes. Because these are all the things that happened in the past. We Shuffle. did all of these things. And then this card gets shuffled into the event deck. Ah. All right. So back to the past. Let's have a contest. OK. Mm -hmm. If I was being extra competitive, I'd be looking through the past right now. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that. You know what? I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate you not doing that. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that could be huge. Like, or not. Mm -hmm. But we did do all these things. Mm -hmm. We should. We know what they are, but... Ooh, I know what I'd pick. I remember. Okay. Eleven. Five. Okay. To you. I'm not, not going to play nope, any nope. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to look through the past. Let's see what Back we got here. to the past. Hmm. What's the flavor text on that one? Although they say, if you don't learn from the past, then you're doomed to repeat it. Who is to say that by repeating the past, we are doomed? Oh. <laughs> I guess that implies that, like, not everything that happened is bad, I guess. Hmm. Right? Because you could do something that we, we had done in the past mm -hmm. that was mm -hmm. good. I really just need to keep you from getting that it's full of stars event that ah. you can send from the warp because that would have been, been pretty nice. That would have been real bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the other one that would have helped me was working the list dose as well. Yeah, because that's that would, another one that is that would be very good. I could just be like, hey, let's just hang out. We're gonna do. We're gonna this do is pretty close. Sympathetic inhabitants again. Ah, uh, yes. So now this gets shuffled back into the event deck. Do yep. we care to do that? I sure can. We're going to discover a new planet, have a duel there. Ship advantage plus four. I remember when you did that. That was the <laughs> this was just a moment ago. Yeah. Which one's this planet again? Oh, it's the 3D printed planet. They're currently printing the planet. Right, see. right. Work right. in progress. Yeah. OK. OK. Ooh. Hmm. OK. Well. Well, well, well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Indeed. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Cuatro. Three. Doo, doo, doo. Back to that plus four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if, let's see how this goes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. I need to win here, otherwise you win. It's, that is true. Hmm. I was hoping you wouldn't have thought of that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I did think of that. Uh, let's see if this panned out. Okay. That's all I can do at this point. Cross them fingers. So we need to do that. And that and let's see where that gets us. Okay. Four block. Two block. Okay. okay. Nearly unbeatable 31! 20! Uh, mm. All right. So we can reinforce. Uh huh. Uh, so you have, you're currently have the lower total. Yep. Actually, I guess I've technically 35 because of ship advantage. Yeah. I, I can't get there though with these <sighs> cards because I have a, a lousy oh. three. And I can bring you down by six. Oh, hey, there's but, the, the next one. Yep, yeah. There it is. Not quite enough. You got it, though. <sighs> Excellent. I was nervous because I realized, like, oh, that fodder is a bit, could be a huge number, right? Yeah. If you, depending on what you had. Right, right. Yeah, I was <sighs> like, going into this, and I was like, oh, man, if I conspire here. And I was like, no, I sent that guy away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> great. Yeah, that would have been great. I banished him from my presence. Oh. Uh... Uh, All right. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. What a good Wait. game. So this was Cosmic Encounter Duel. Yeah. Uh, 
I was nearly ubiquitous. <laughs> Six out of seven planets. I mean, you're like you're. Everywhere. I am on every planet. Yeah. You may have won, but I'm on all your planets. <laughs> that is. You true. can't get rid of us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is Cosmic Encounter Duel. So this is, as we kind of mentioned, the two-player, uh, the new two-player board game set in the Cosmic Encounter universe, based on the principles of Cosmic Encounter. Yeah. And it's available now at your local retailer in at least the U.S. and the U.K. and probably much of Europe and yeah. uh, and Brazil and these other places where we distribute as well. Um, so thank you everyone so so much for watching. As always, it's great to come and hang out with you. Um, remember to to subscribe and uh, follow us on all our social media channels. And join us on Thursday. We're going to be doing some gameplay of the new Journeys of Middle Earth expansion, mm, cool. Shadow Paths. So I'm pretty excited for that. Might get to see a Balrog. Um, thanks to Carolina Game Tables for this awesome table that keeps us safely six feet apart. Mm -hmm. uh, and we hope that you join us next time. We'll see you then. Adios.